Okay, so we have this sort of vague notion of composition of functions, where I take one function and take its output and use it as the input into another function. And I want to take a look at some, some more examples with the same functions. So let's suppose that f of x equals 3x minus 1, just like we saw in the last discussion, and g of x equals 2x squared plus x plus 1. And now the question is, um, what would, for example, be f composed with itself evaluated at 2? Now how would I do that? Well, what I do is I'd first remember what this means. This is f of f of 2. So first I have to compute f of 2. I have to compute this. So I take 2 and plug it in for x and f, and I see 3 times 2, which is 6 minus 1 is 5. So this inside thing there is 5. So I have f of 5. And well, what's f of 5? Well, now I take this, which was the output for this, and put it back into f. You see how I'm taking output and putting it in as input? If I put that in here, I see 15 minus 1 equals 14. So f composed with f evaluated at 2 turns out to be 14. Great. How about g composed with g at 2? So g composed with g of 2 would be g of g of 2. And what is that? Well, first I compute g of 2. That's the inside thing. So I put 2 in for x. So here I would see uh, 2 squared, which is 4, times 2 is 8. Then I add 2 and get 10, and one more is 11. So I see g of 11. So now to compute g of 11, I take that output, which is 11, and plug it back into g. And what would I see? I would see 2 times 11 squared plus 11 plus 1. So 11 squared is 121 times 2 is 242. So we have 242 plus 11 plus 1, which equals 254. So that would be g composed with g evaluated at 2. Not a problem. How about, how about, let's try some more. How about this one? How about uh, f composed with f evaluated at 0? So first, so that means f of f of 0. So first, what do I do? So first I take 0 and plug it in for x and f. When I do that, I see 3 times 0 minus 1. So that's just negative 1. So I have f of negative 1. And then what is f of negative 1? I take the output, negative 1, and push it back in to here. I see 3 times negative 1 minus 1, which equals negative 4. How about g composed with g of at 0? Why don't you try this one right now? So in fact, why don't you try to figure out what g composed of g evaluated at 0 would equal, given the function g here? Give it a shot.